Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at the new Sony Action Cam HDR AS10 video camera. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. The Sony Action Cam is yet another new motorcycle video camera to be released recently. We reviewed the new JVC GCXA1 not long ago, but the bottom line is that the Replay XD1080 is still the all around champ and our favorite for motorcycle video. The Sony Action Cam comes with or without a Wi Fi option. This is the non Wi Fi version and it's $70 cheaper. It also comes with a waterproof housing, which is pretty much required to use the camera, so it's like the GoPro in that regard. It also comes with a couple of helmet mounts and a USB cable, and that's it. Here it is compared to the GoPro, the JVC, and the Replay XD1080. The Sony Action Cam is narrower than the GoPro, but the overall package is about the same size. The Sony is much easier to use than the GoPro, however. You really don't even need the instruction manual. In the front is the lens and stereo speakers, although like every other motorcycle video cam, the sound quality is awful. In the back is a big start-stop button. To turn on the camera, press the button and the camera turns on and, big fault here, the camera immediately starts recording. So then you have to press it again to stop and you end up with a bunch of short video clips of your fingers. Sony really needs to fix this in a firmware update. Once it's on, press the previous or next buttons to go through the menu system. It's straightforward and the choices are obvious. Press the start button to select a menu choice, then use the previous or next buttons to move through, and press the start button again to select your choice. Most of the feature changes in the camera are selected through the setup screen. The camera has VGA recording, which nobody's going to use. Standard is 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second. It also takes 720 at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second. And that's the coolest feature of this camcorder. Taking video in super slow motion at 120 frames per second is a lot of fun. I'll show you a sample of that later. You can also take interval photos, and that's about it. There's no live view, so it's a bit difficult to line up the camera. Possibly the Wi-Fi option would help here if you can get it to sync with your cell phone. To turn off the camera, you actually have to go to the power down screen and then press the button in the back to shut the camera off. It will also turn off after a certain amount of time if you haven't used the camera, but that wastes the precious battery life. In the back is the rechargeable battery and the micro SD memory slot. The camera does not come with any memory and the micro SD card can be installed either way. And the slot is pretty fussy even if you do get it right, so be sure to check the screen when you start up the camera it will give you an error if the card isn't seated just right. The USB and HDMI ports are under a flimsy cover on the bottom of the camera. Here are the accessories. It comes with an extra battery tray, a couple of goggle clips, and the waterproof housing, and a USB cable. Flip the lever down in the back to insert the camera, tighten it up, and the single button in the back is used to turn the camera on or off. That's the only accessible control once it's in the waterproof housing. Here's the size of the Sony Action Cam compared to the GoPro, also in a waterproof housing, the JVC GCXA1, and the Replay XD1080. Note that the Replay XD1080 is much easier to mount and orient on a motorcycle or motorcycle helmet, and the lens can be rotated, unlike either the Sony or the GoPro. Be sure to watch part two of our Sony Action Cam report, which includes the on road video and slow motion samples. Just to show you a quick example, here's a handheld shot with the lens set at 120 degrees with the image stabilization on. You can see that the sky has a strange blue tinge. This camera way oversaturates the blues and it has a blue tinge also to the white balance which is another fault and it hurts the overall quality of the video, especially in the shadows or on cloudy days. Next is an example with the lens set at 170 degrees. This is changeable in the setup menu, but 120 degrees seems like a better option for better quality with less barrel distortion. As I mentioned earlier, the 120 frames per second feature is the best part. 
It's super slow motion and the video is smoother and appears with better quality than the standard 1080 30 frames per second, which is only mediocre compared to other video cameras we reviewed on webbikeworld.com. So that's a quick look at the features of the Sony Action Cam. Be sure to watch part two with the on road video samples and read the full review with photos and all the details and our conclusion on webbikeworld.com, along with many other motorcycle video camera reviews. Thanks for watching.